Hello friends. I'm out here. I've got a bunch of cleanup to do in my pilot. I'm gonna get that done. But I've been looking around the land here and I'm you know I'm about to go and develop another piece of raw land and I'm thinking about uh, some of the mistakes, well not really mistakes, but some of the things that I wish I had done on this property here. It's a new life for me. Yeah. So I'm thinking about the the first purchases I'm gonna make. And by the way, if you see me come in here in the shed and start talking then that means the wind picked up outside. <laughs> um, it wasn't windy before the camera turned on, but you know how nature is. Oh, he's got the camera on. Crank up the wind. <laughs> Anyways, I made a list. And I'm going to read out my list here. What is this? Wow, I gotta throw that away. That could go right in somebody's tire or something. That's metal. That's steel. All right, first thing on my list, first thing I'm gonna get is like a 2,000 gallon uh, water cistern or wa water tank. The reason I wanna get that is because I, I got that 275 gallon or 300 gallon water cistern, which has been working fine for me. But in all honesty, you get tired of having to fill that all the time. I know that uh, some people could go through 2,000 gallons in a month, um, especially if you're used to being hooked up to the grid. But 275 gallons usually lasts me about three months. It has been, but I've been really sparing with it. So there's that. I want to get a... 2,000 gallon water cistern and then I'll pay somebody every once in a while to come and fill it up if I don't. Well, the first time um, I set it up, I'm going to pay somebody to fill it up. And then I'm hoping to have it filled with rain. I'm going to try to set up a rain catchment system, a good one. And if, I, and if that's not successful, if I don't have rain that year, then I'll just pay somebody else to, uh, to come and, and uh, fill it up again. But I'm figuring if 275 gallons can last me three months, I might get uh, 2,000 gallons might last me uh, a year. The problem is, is if I start, uh, if I start a garden, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to build a rain catchment system. So, anyways, there's that, and then I want to get about 320 feet of six foot tall chain link fence to make 80 feet on each side square around my RV for security and in case I get a dog. Now I put up this fence here and I've got, a, I've obviously got a lot of room in here, but I believe that this side here, both of these long sides are 80 feet. My RV is 30 feet. Um, and then the, these sides here, the both sides are 60 feet. And you know, that's, that's a lot of room already, but I'd like to have a little bit more room since I may end up putting, um, a garden closer to my RV. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to have six acres to work with this time. I'm going to have uh just over an acre probably so i'm going to condense things down yes yeah, so i believe that this is like 260 or 280 feet altogether and i want to get a chain link fence and probably cement the poles into the ground for the chain link fence this this worked just fine for the cows but i got i got this put up quick just so I could avoid the cows walking on my solar panels and so on and so forth. Somebody commented, uh, I don't know, a few days ago about um, me saying 
so on and so forth. <laughs> so, all right. <clears throat> Next on my list that I want to get for the new land will be lumber for a turntable solar array and more solar panels. So, <clears throat> I want to be able to adjust my solar panels for each season. So I'm gonna figure out something that I can use for a turntable so I can adjust the solar panels to each season and also the azimuth of the solar panels, the degrees of where the sun's gonna be. Because, you know, in the winter, the sun just comes up just over the horizon there and it goes to about, I'd say, 30 degrees or something like that in the air but in summer it is straight above me i'm not going to build a permanent array that just sits in one fixed position i think that's a waste of power i know that it works for a lot of people and it probably works i, I don't know I've done, i did it for years i had it in a fixed position on my rv i just want to get as much as i can out of the solar power Mm, for those cloudy winter days you know what i mean next on my list is lumber and pipes for raised garden beds and shade cloth because sun is too intense here i would like to build another garden and give it another shot um i don't know of a whole lot of people around here that have had a lot of success with gardens it, it, it either gets too hot sometimes or too cold. <clears throat> I don't, it is, it is difficult for even a seasoned gardener to grow here. Um, I do have some friends that have been growing and have been having, I believe have been having some success. My friends, uh, Mike and Judy. But that's about all I know around here that's actually had some success. Not like I know everybody around here, though. My neighbors up there, I think they, they're pretty successful with it. But it's a big learning curve. And um, the only thing I... I grew a few things up in Minnesota, small things like potatoes. Uh, but I don't have a lot of experience in that. So it's going to be a learning curve for me. But I want to do it. Uh, what's next? Possible Starlink. That would be nice. Uh, Kevin recently told me, Camper Van Kevin recently told me that you could get a refurbished Starlink system for 400 and something. So I might look into that. It's about 120 bucks a month. Hey, if you get really good internet from it, I think it's worth it. What's next on the list? Crushed rock for driveway and possible gate in for the front. That is down the road, of course. Um, but it would be, it looked, at those properties I was looking at, it. the crushed rock looks really nice and works really great for driveways. So I believe that's what I'm going to end up doing myself. A mini home later on, of course. And then... Something that should have been maybe further at the top of the list is I could build a concrete pad for my RV to park my RV on and then build a deck or something, something nice with an overhang because I'm not going to replace my awning at the moment. Having an awning out in the desert is, is just a big risk because it can be a, just a normal... I've... At least twice a week it happens. Um, you could just be having a normal, not too windy day, and all of a sudden, it's, most of the dust devils, for some reason, seem to come right through here. But in the desert, it's pretty common. Dust devils are pretty common, and they are so destructive. This last summer, I had my awning out, and a dust devil came through and just ripped it up. And then when I was installing my ac unit on the roof there i was up on the roof or no i was inside and i was looking out the window because i heard something like a huge gust of wind coming 
and a dust devil and I had just got done installing the AC on the top of the roof there and a dust devil came through on that side and it picked up all the foam for for the AC packaging and everything lifted it up and carried it all way over here now I, I wouldn't even consider awnings good for rain either because you get those huge gusts of wind uh, from, if I replace my awning again I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure I always stake stake it down um, I did have some extra equipment on it D flappers which that awning was really tough it, it was able to withstand 40 mile per hour winds a few times at least 40 miles per hour and uh but that it's not going to stand and no awning is going to stand up against a dust devil that's why it's called the dust devil so i think that's about it for for my list i'm going to keep going here on daily chores and then i'm going to go in and edit this video and try to upload it within a day <laughs> and uh yeah I'm a bit stressed out about moving. I won't I won't lie about it. It's taking longer to find land than I figured it would. Land that I like, you know. And then when I really do like some land, it's it, it's tough to negotiate it unless you have a big chunk of money. That is going well, and I'm just going to keep looking and keep uploading. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Later.